Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022 Festival of Festivals. As we wait to commence with the formal opening ceremony, we would like to recognize honored guests of Nagaland who have come to join us for the opening ceremony. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022, the Festival of Festivals. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022, the Festival of Festivals. We will commence with the opening ceremony shortly. As we wait, we would like to recognize honored guests of Nagaland who have come to join us for the opening ceremony and the Festival of Festivals. As we say your names, we request our honored guests to kindly rise where you are sit seated so that we can felicitate you. Our first honored guest is His Excellency Sri Emmanuel Lenine, Ambassador of France to India. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause and welcome to our honored guest, His Excellency, the Ambassador of France to India. Our next honored guest is Sri Alan Gemmel, His Majesty's Trade Commissioner for South Asia and British Deputy High Commissioner for Western India. Ladies and gentlemen, please give our honored guest a warm round of applause and welcome. Our third honored guest this evening is the Honorable Sri Barry O'Farrell Lau, Australian High Commissioner to India. Ladies and gentlemen, please give our honored guest a warm round of applause and welcome. On behalf of the people of Nagaland, we welcome our honored guests and invite them to join us for the opening ceremony. Thank you. 
Our Chief Host, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, Honorable Governor of Nagaland, and our host, Sri Niphu Rio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, have arrived at the venue. We are now awaiting the arrival of our chief guest, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, Honorable Vice President of India. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we rise to welcome our chief guest, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, Honorable Vice President of India. Our chief guest is escorted by our chief host, the Honorable Governor of Nagaland, and host, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as our chief guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, is escorted to the dais by our chief host, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, Honorable Governor of Nagaland, and our host, Sri Niphu Rio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we give our chief guest a warm round of applause to welcome him 
to the opening ceremony of the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022. You may be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022 Festival of Festivals. To commence with the opening ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, please rise for the national anthem.
May please be seated. One hundred and fifty years ago, Christianity came to Nagaland when missionaries brought the gospel to our territory. 2022 has witnessed sesquicentennial celebrations of the coming of Christianity to Nagaland. To honor this landmark event in Naga history, as well as to beseech God's blessings for another momentous occasion, we invite Pastor Kohima Ao Baptist Church, Sri Temjin Mongba Sempo, to say the invocation prayer. As we bow down our heads, I will say a word of prayer. Shall we all bow down our heads? Above Father, Lord of the heavens and the earth, creator of the heavens and the earth, we want to thank you, Lord, for this beautiful land of yours and this beautiful people, Lord. The wonderful and beautiful culture that you have given to us. Lord, we have been once in darkness, but you have brought us to the light. The light which has brought wisdom. The light which has brought peace, joy, and unity among our people. Yes, Lord, not only has you brought peace, but also you have brought in the identity. Lord, before you, therefore we stand with this identity. An identity which proclaims your nation, your people, Lord Jesus, is only belonging to you. Today, therefore, we want to pray and thank you for your faithfulness, especially over the 150 years that you have led us. We remember all your blessings. And even as we have come today to celebrate this beautiful culture that you have blessed to us, may we be always reminded of your faithfulness, of what you have done for our people, so that we will forever remain faithful to your call, Lord Jesus, to your goodness, to your people, Lord. So that, Lord, we will continue to be a blessing through what we are, through our culture, through our everything, to this great nation of ours, India, Lord Jesus. That we will, beyond our nation, be a people of witness to your glory, Lord Jesus. That, Lord, you will always remind us about your faithfulness. Today, Lord, therefore, as we celebrate this great Hornbill Festival. May we celebrate keeping in mind your faithfulness and your love. The Lord, as we celebrate, may our resounding of celebration be only for your glory. May our people glorify your name and through which may our people continue, Lord Jesus, to be a witness to our nation, India, and beyond. Committing the rest of the time unto your hand and the celebration thereon. We pray all this in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Elders are the fulcrum which, on which Naga society is balanced. Through the ages, the wisdom, counsel, and blessings of our elders have held us in good stead. We honor this tradition this evening by inviting an elder of great renown from the Chakasang tribe, Yekasa Tereng of Porva village, to pronounce the traditional blessing.
ジョホワムザウェイ me pick up all today. Just January, Trele Lugze Puse, Nagamit's day. Tama no hurry, Trele Lugze. Tavunuku Koti, Charo Duku Koti, no. No hookas day. Kutiku Nibodo, Nagamit Jazilla, what a hit day. Nagamiko Pono Kazu Ve Kalur Tieno Jehovah Zalano Magaveti Day Tasha Mere Reli Mere Beti Mina Ti Mere Matikobono Jehovah Zalano Kaveku Ko Ti Day Tieno E Jehovah O nagami beti nati te puto no mo te ko zove. May the Nagas be a God-fearing nation through Jesus Christ. May the Nagas live in unity. May the Nagas live honestly. May the Nagas be a blessed nation. May the Nagas be a prosperous nation. May the good wisdom be upon the Nagas. May the Nagas be a bold and fearless nation. Let no disease, plague, pestilence befall upon the Nagas. These are the traditional blessings that have been given to us by our elder. We will now have time for presentation to our chief guest, and his lady wife on behalf of the people of Nagaland. May we please request the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, and his lady wife, Srimati Sudesh Dhankar, to kindly rise. Felicitating them on behalf of the people of Nagaland are the Honorable Governor of Nagaland and the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause and welcome to our Chief Guest for the opening ceremony of the Hornbill Festival 2022. Thank you, sir.
our beloved leader, whose visionary initiative gave birth to the Hornbill Festival and has seen it grow into an international mega event, is now invited to give the welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Sri Nipu Rio. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Hornbill 2022. Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdish Dankar, and his gracious lady wife, Dr. Sudesh Dankar, <clears throat> Honorable Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhe, and Madam Prem Shuk Mukhe, Ambassador of France to India, His Excellency Sri Emmanuel Lenin, High Commissioner of Australia to India, Honorable Sri Bari O. Peril, His Majesty Trade Commissioner for Southeast Asia and British Deputy High Commissioner for Western India, Sri Alam Gomel, Gimmel, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. Y. Patton, Festival Host, and Honorable Advisor Tourism of uh, Department of Tourism and Arts and Culture, Sri Kehovi Yeptomi, all the dignitaries present, friends, guests from different parts of the country and from around the world. My dear fellow citizens of Nagaland, ladies and gentlemen, today is another historic and landmark occasion. Nagaland is commemorating our 59th year of statehood and we will now be launching the 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival at Kisama. It is an honor and a privilege for me to welcome the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dankar, his lady wife and family and entourage to Nagaland, the land of festivals. On behalf of all the citizens of the state, we are indeed very happy and excited that you could join us on this auspicious occasion. And I hope that you will have a memorable Nagaland experience. On behalf of the people of Nagaland, I also extend a warm welcome to our honored guest, the Ambassador of France to India, Sri Emmanuel Lenin, High Commissioner of Australia to India, Honorable Sri Barry O. Farrell, His Majesty's Trade Commissioner of South Asia, East Asia, and British Deputy High Commissioner for Western India, Sri Alan Gamel, and all the other dignitaries, including our friends and guests from around the world, to Nagaland, and to the Hornbill Festival, the Festival of Festivals. The Hornbill Festival exemplifies the way of Naga celebrating the rich cultural heritage of the Naga people, along with the rest of the Northeastern Sister States. It is aimed to protecting, preservation, and promoting the cultural and rich heritage of the people while creating opportunity for economic growth and employment generation. It is the 
platform that allows the creativity and innovation of our youth to blossom and flower while opening vista for the entrepreneurs to pursue their aspirations. In so many ways, the Hornbill Festival expresses the energy, vibrancy, and the ambitions of the new generation of Naga youth. The festival is a symbol of brand Nagaland and the emergence of Naga soft power. Over a period of 10 days, hundreds of events and dozens of international platforms will take place. It is a festival like this and like no other. But at the core of it all are the cultural display, the cultural ambassadors representing the tribes of Nagaland. And from different states of the Northeast and even the mainland and the heart and soul of the Hor Hornbill Festival. The traditional dormitories known as morongs take us back millennia respecting the Naga way of life since time in memorial. The government of India has acknowledged the uniqueness of Naga history and culture. Former Prime Minister, late Atal Bihari Vaspai, during his historic visit to Kohima in October 2003, has stated that India acknowledges the unique history and culture of the Nagas. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, during the signing of the Framework Agreement in 2015, had said that the Naga courage and the commitment are the legendary and equally the Naga represents the highest level of humanism. Nagas, in the word of the Prime Minister, are the guardians of the eastern frontier and our gateway to the world beyond. The Nagas are a proud and a fighting race. Generations of our people have made significant contributions towards the nation building process. And today, we aspire for genuine peace and we are hopeful that with the successful conclusion of peace process, our contribution in the forward march of this great nation will only increase the Naga will and able to play a contributory role in the interests of humanity and on the global stage. We seek the support and prayer of all our friends, well-wishers towards our collective dream of realizing genuine peace and long-term progress. Our state is not easy to reach, and we are sincerely appreciate your coming here. We lag in many things, but we hope that will continue to improve with your support and solidarity. However, I'm hopeful that all of you will take this in the sounds, smells, and sights of Nagaland and the Hornbill Festival and will become not only our friends, but ambassadors of Nagaland and the Naga people, wherever you go. I want to take this opportunity to extend a sincere appreciation to all the institutions, corporate sponsors, sister festivals, and well-wishers for participating with us. A special appreciation goes to the Government of India for the constant support we have received, not just in the tourism arena, that, but across all development sectors. In conclusion, I once again thank and welcome each and every one of you for coming to Nagaland to celebrate the Hornbill Festival. I hope all of you will make friends, create lifelong memories, and come back with more friends and loved ones in the years to come.
Happy Hornbill Festival and have a wonderful Nagaland experience. Thank you. God bless Kugnalim. We now invite the Honorable Governor of Nagaland, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, to deliver the festival greetings. The Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Jagdeep Dhankarji, and his gracious wife, Dr. Sudesh Dhankarji, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland and host, Shri Nasu Rio, and his gracious wife, Shrimati Kesia Rio, First Lady of Assam and Nagaland, Mrs. Prem Mukhi, Advisor, Tourism and Host of this festival, Shri Khehotiji, Kehovi, Cabinet Ministers, Advisors, MLAs, Honorable Shri Emmanuel Lenin, Ambassador of France in India, Shri Barry O'Farrell, our Australian High Commission to India, Shri Alan Gamal, British Deputy High Commissioner for Western India, distinguished dignitaries, guests from far and near, officials from civil, military and central agencies, participants, ladies and gentlemen. I am much delighted to be amongst all you today at the 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival here at Kisama, the Heritage Village. I warmly welcome our Honorable Vice President of India and everyone present to Nagaland, the land of festivals. I am sure this cultural extravaganza will enthrill our guests from within and abroad. During the 10 days celebration, we will be witnessing diverse display of culture of our state and Northeast India and also various adventurous sports and musical events. Today, as it is also the 60th birthday of our state Nagaland and for us Nagas, it is a joyous and blessed moment to celebrate the festival of festivals, Hornbill Festival and State Hip Day in one accord. I am already impressed by the colorful array of Naga costumes on display today and I look forward to hearing you, your song, see your dances again and experience more of Naga culture and traditions as the afternoon proceeds. It's easy to understand why this festival attracts so many guests from throughout the country and around the world. Even as we witness a full display of our state's culture, I would also like to congratulate all the participants and performers who I am sure will put together a brilliant display of Naga dances and music. Nagaland is a truly enchanting. Anybody who comes here would not want to leave in a hurry. We also deeply appreciate the Government of India for recognizing this Hornbill Festival as one of the premier and major events for the performing artists, uh, artists in India. Over the years, with the immense cooperation and enthusiastic uh, participation of all the tribes of Nagaland and the neighboring states, uh, these cultural festivals have acquired much fame and name. Friends, 
the government of in india under the dynamic leadership of sri narendra modi ji is committed to ensure development of the region central government and the state government are working together to bring in lasting peace in the land we as beneficiaries should make up our minds and create a conducive atmosphere for welcoming the new dawn for a peaceful and progressive nagaland i would also like to urge all of us to look back and introspect at what has been achieved over the last 60 years and what ground remains to be covered we have witnessed a mix of both achievements and difficulties for nagaland during the last six decades today nagaland is at the edge of making history after years of insurgency there is a hope with the support from all the stakeholders including the general populace there is an opportunity for lasting peace i congratulate all the naga groups for having come so far i am confident that a final agreement one that is fair to all and meets the expectation and aspirations of all will be reached soon ladies and gentlemen we are entering the festive season in a few weeks time we will celebrate christian christmas and mar march into the new year this is a time to be with the family and friends this is a time for renewal and resolutions and this is a time to work for peace and prosperity above all it is the time to fulfill the dreams of the terrific young people of uh, nagaland as we move on to celebrate this year's hornbill festival i appeal everyone to share the feeling of oneness love and forgiveness i also wish our guests who have come from far and near that they would have a pleasant stay and carry on the most treasured memories of this beautiful place culture and hospitality and most of all the message of love and peace i extend my best wishes to all the performers who will be putting in their best in the next 10 days i wish the festival grand success wish you all the best thank you very much jai hind we will now have time for greetings from our honored guests please welcome his excellency shri emmanuel lenine ambassador of france to india thank you honorable vice president of india shri jagdeep dankar and his lady wife honorable governor of nagaland shri jagdish mukhi honorable chief minister of, Na of nagaland shri nephew rio honorable deputy chief minister of nagaland shri yang tungo patan advisor for tourism art and culture of nagaland shri kov yeputomi respected members of the government dignitaries colleagues and friends well thank you very much for welcoming me tonight and i'm very happy to be at the festival of festivals it's great pleasure to be here and thank you for inviting me i arrived just today in this beautiful state a few hours ago this is my first visit here and i'm already very very impressed and for three reasons the first it has to do with the history when i arrived in kohima i felt a surge of emotions 
for entering the city meant entering the very place that I know witnessed an unforgettable slice of history. I know that the fiercest of battle took place here in the middle of the year 1944 and the battle which changed the course of World War II on the Asian front. And it was an important milestone that binds us as people who fought in a time filled with stories of valor, heroism, sacrifices, and which would help to lead to the end of this terrible moment of human history. The second reason why I'm really delighted and impressed to be here, obviously, it's the unbound beauty of the landscape of the mountains that I crossed. I really felt under the spell of this gorgeous natural heritage of hills. And it's a treasure that reminds me of a small part of my country called Massif Central, which is a chain of very old mountains in the center of my country. The first, third, and last reason why I'm so delighted to be here is that really that unique events that we're witnessing and seeing tonight. And to be here in this festival, to rejoice with all of you, and to see this great uh, melting pot of culture. And it's very important, not only because it's uh, uh, a huge uh, an impressive treasure of traditions, songs, dance, local cuisine, craft, jewelries, and so many aesthetic expressions, but also it's a celebration of a concept that we, in the European Union, we do cherish a lot. And this concept sounds like a motto, and actually it's the motto of the European Union. It's called United in Diversity. And it seems to me that exactly what happens here every year when different tribes come, gather, display their culture and their cultural diversity. Cultural diversity is something very important that we try constantly to promote everywhere because it's uh, what the world, our planet, has most precious. It was enshrined into a convention adopted in 2005 to protect diversity, and I'm sure that these sort of festivals contribute to this very important fight for diversity. So thank you, thank you again. Thank you for demonstrating that. Thank you for year after year to make that such a brilliant expression, and I wish this festival a great success. Thank you. We now invite our honored guest, Sri Alan Gemmel, His Majesty's Trade Commissioner for South Asia and British Deputy High Commissioner for Western India to deliver his greetings. Kinika Ase Kohima. Uh, Honorable Vice President of India, Honorable Governor, Honorable Chief Minister, dignitaries, colleagues, friends, I'm so very happy to be back in the Naga Hills, in Kohima and in Nagaland, the most beautiful part of India. This is my second visit to the Hornbill Festival. Back in 2016, I watched the great men of the Angami tribe in their stone pulling for the Golden Jubilee of the Angami Sports Association. And I hope very much, Honourable Chief Minister, that I can be uh, your ambassador for Nagaland at the end of this uh, tour. So I'm very happy to be back here. This festival is a tribute to the Hornbill, but also to the rich culture and the way of life of the people of Nagaland. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. Just as I'm excited about Naga culture, I'm also excited about the great products of Nagaland and the opportunity for your businesses to trade with the UK. And I met some of those businesses yesterday. Businesses like Ete Coffee, the first coffee roasting company in Nagaland. Cold Mountain Products, who work with over 3,000 Naga farmers. Naro Key, the best florists in Dimapur and Kohima, they told me. And Heirloom Naga, who are already selling their products 
uh, back into the UK. These great businesses selling around India, and I hope selling into the UK and Europe, will start to tell the world about the world-class products in Nagaland and your world-class craftsmanship. Those kinds of exchanges are partly why we want to conclude a free trade agreement between the UK and India as soon as we can that benefits both our peoples. Finally, like my colleague, I would like to thank the people of Kohima and Nagaland for the critical role you played in World War II during the Battle of Kohima. I visited the cemetery today for the second time to remind myself of the lives that were lost from people here in Nagaland Indian soldiers, including many from the Punjab, and British soldiers too. It was their courage and sacrifice, their duty or kartavya, which ensured a victory. That sacrifice has given all of us our freedom. And it's inspiring to see the courage and culture of the Naga people continue today. Thank you. We now invite the Honourable Sri Barry O'Farrell Ao, Australian High Commissioner to India, to deliver his greetings. Vice President of India, Governor of the State of Nagaland, Chief Minister, but importantly to everybody who's here this evening, whether you're citizens of Naga, whether you're citizens of India, or whether you're those citizens of the world that I saw as I walked around this afternoon. It is an absolute delight for me to be here because for many years, well before I had this role, I wanted to come to Kahima to see this remarkable celebration of the diversity of your state. And happily, Australians with uh, restrictions on tourism being lifted will be coming back to this festival and to tourism across India, and we're delighted that they will do so. Many of you know that Australia is a small country in the South Pacific that's good at sports, has odd animals and many poisonous snakes and spiders. But we're also a diverse multicultural community uh, of 25.5 million people. More than half of Australians were either born overseas or have one parent who were born overseas. This connects us with the world, including with India and with this state. Indians, the Indian diaspora in Australia is our fastest growing source of migrants. Uh, Indians are almost a million of our people, seven lakh who were born in India are now residing in Australia. And that's bringing us together in so many ways, including strategically across our neighbourhood, whether, whether, whether together through the Quad or with other partners. We're working to ensure the Indo-Pacific, that area that surrounds us, is prosperous, uh, peaceful, stable and allows citizens like you to achieve what you want in life. But there's another reason why I'm pleased to be here tonight, because this is a celebration of tribal diversity in this country. And in Australia, we have our own Indigenous or First Nations people. They've had a continuous connection to my country, the land upon which I was born, for 60,000 years. And increasingly, the Australian government is seeking to ensure that their voice, their perspective, is not just heard within Australian decision-making, but is also brought to the world. We know that tribal law, tribal practice and tribal antecedents can help us with problems today. We know that tribal peoples manage their economies and, and environments better than perhaps many of us have over the past couple of hundred years. So I'm pleased to be here for all those reasons. Firstly, that we're celebrating diversity, something that Australia cherishes, something that's evident in India, and something that people from all around the world come to see here at the Hornbill Festival. Secondly, I'm celebrating the increasing connections between Australia and India. And thirdly, of course, there's no better way to connect than through trade deals. I'm happy to say to my colleagues that the Australian trade deal comes into effect at the end of December. It will see 86 per cent of Indian products enter Australia without tariffs, and that includes the remarkable textiles that are made here in Nagaland, which will be bought in more numbers 
and which will help your citizens here. Thank you very much for the invitation. I look forward to seeing this whole thing. The people of Nagaland are honoured to have as their chief guest the Honourable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar. We now invite him to address the gathering. My greetings to everyone present here. I am thrilled, excited, enthralled, and captivated by the energy of Naga boys and girls. My salutations to you. Honorable Governor of Nagaland and Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukhiji, First Lady Nagaland and Assam, Mrs. Jagdish Mukhi, Honorable Chief Minister, His Gracious Wife, Excellencies, and most important, everyone before me. It's a great day in my life. I will never forget this day. India is a land of culture. We have our civilization of thousands of years. This place is at pinnacle. This is a place Culture of cultures, I congratulate the people of Nagaland on their statehood day. I also congratulate your governor. It is his birthday today. And there is another historic development on this day. India has assumed the presidency of G20. And you will have the occasion in April to show your unique culture, your warmth and greetings to the world. This is a historic development. The year is very significant. India is proud of its tribes. India is proud of its tribal culture. A great history has been made in 2022. The first citizen of the country, the president of the country, the president of the largest democracy on earth, the president of mother of democracies, most respected, honorable Draupdi Murmu, is a tribal woman. It is for the first time in the history of the world that a tribal woman is heading the largest democracy on earth. I salute tribal culture. I salute your energy. And I can tell you, the moment I got down from my car, when I saw a sparkle in the eyes of boys and girls, their energy, their enthusiasm, I knew I was at a place which has no match in the world. I knew it is a festival of festivals and Naga culture 
will ever be imprinted in my heart. This place has glorious history, unique culture, and world over, the word Naga is known for culture, for courage, and for display of talent with the world remembers. Your food, songs, dances, craft, customs, they are very captivating. People to people interaction here is always on the rise. And no doubt the festival has been imaginatively named. Hornbill bird is known as the king of birds. And this festival is rightly known as festival of festivals. When this headgear was given to me, I felt energized, motivated, inspired. There was passion in me. I had been seeing it on television. What I had been admiring for a long year was all before me. A moment ever to be cherished in my life. The feathers adorn the headgears of warriors and are greatly cherished and they denote valor. Landing at Dimapur, taking a helicopter, and what I saw was nature, God has been very kind to this land. Beauty all around, scenic beauty unrivaled anywhere on the globe. The state has great tourism potential. And apart from the gift of nature, the state has something very unique. And that is people who have great love and affection to give. Naga culture, Naga hospitality, Naga traits. A great change has taken place in our country. It is started with 2014. The Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he started a new scheme. Look East, Act East. And this Looking East, Acting East, Nagaland is a focal center. A big change, a development change is taking place. Boys and girls, you will be happy to learn that for the first time we have a ministry at the central level that is committed only to the development of East. Funds are earmarked and I can see the development taking place. This festival marks another great victory. We couldn't have this festival in 2020. We are having it in 2022. India has beaten COVID as no other nation has beaten. Imagine more than 3 billion vaccinations were given for first dose, second dose and booster. Boys and girls, on this great festival day, it is a matter of joy for us that we are the only country in the world that has made available this certificate digitally. Even countries claiming to be very developed have not been able to accomplish it. On economic front at a time when the world is reeling, our achievements are so significant we need to be proud of them. I know as a matter of fact, along with your Honorable Governor, when I was myself Governor of the State of West Bengal, from 1st April 2020 till now, India is the only country that is providing 800 million people rice, 
serial and pulse. These are things that must make us ever proud. Each of us must realize the rise of India. And in 2022, thanks to the talent of our young minds, thanks to the great opportunities that are being made available, the number of unicorns with more than a billion fiscal dimension, we are number one in the world. Mark my words, we are number one in the world. There is no other country that matches us. And that is why there is no global entity of repute where an Indian mind is not at the helm. You have a culture of thousands of years. Our civilizational ethos remind us that India was Vishwa Guru. We were leaders in the world. We always treated the world as one family. And that India has always been showing. Time has come when we must enjoy, relish, and cooperate in the growth trajectory of this great nation, our youth population, that is our demographic dividend, unrivaled, and you can never have an ecosystem in the world where democracy thrives, blossoms, human rights values are sustained, and all this, we are on development trajectory. The kind of infrastructure that we are having in the country was not imagined a few years ago. I have no doubt this festival, which is festival of festivals, where display of talent, fervor, and commitment will have indelible impression with everyone will catalyze growth of tourism industry in this state. I was discussing with your chief minister, a man of enormous talent. And I was so happy to note that kiwis of this place, pineapples of this place, coffee of this place, has a special angle which everyone needs to appreciate. His steps are afoot to ensure there is greater marketability, greater dissemination, and it is a matter of time where the tourist destination of this country, Nagaland, will be a favored destination. Another significant aspect I wish to share with you. As vice president of the country, I am chairman of Rajya Sabha. Council of States, the Upper House. I congratulate people of Nagaland. For the first time in their history, they have sent a woman as their representative member parliament to Rajya Sabha. And that speaks of empowerment of women. Nagaland has the credit of having the lowest crime rate amongst women. My congratulations to all of you. Nagaland, my dear boys and girls, exemplifies woman empowerment. And this theme will take us to greater heights. Equal position for women in Naga society is something which the rest of India needs to emulate. I would conclude by saying one thing finally. The entire world is looking at us. G20 presidency of Bharat, India, the largest democracy, is a milestone achievement. Our hospitality will be unique. And what will happen in Nagaland during that time will be 
unique amongst most unique. My congratulations to you. What I have witnessed so far is spectacular. And what we will see later on, we will cherish all our lives. Once again, I am grateful to the Honorable Chief Minister for making available this lifetime opportunity to me to be with you all who share the joy and rise of this great country. Jai Hind. We now invite our festival host, the Honorable Advisor, Tourism and Art and Culture, Sri H. Khehavi Yaptomi, to give the vote of thanks. Honorable Chief Guest, Sri Jagdeep Dangar, Most Honorable Vice President of India and Madam, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, Honorable Governor of Nagaland and Madam, Suri Nipurio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland and Madam, His Excellency Suri Emmanuel Lenin, Ambassador of France to India, Suri Alan Gamel, His Majesty's Threat Commissioner for South Asia and British. Deputy High Commissioner for Western India, Honorable Sri Barry of Feral Ao, Australian High Commissioner to India, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister Sri Y. Patton, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Advisors, and Honorable MLS, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On this memorable occasion of the 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival and completion of 60 years of Statehood Day, it is my proud privilege to propose the vote of thanks. This vote of thanks is to mark the beginning of the festival of festivals and not the end. First of all, I thank the Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. With his blessings and grace, may we go forward and make this festival a memorable event for everyone to cherish. On behalf of the people of Nagaland, I take this opportunity to extend my most sincere thanks to our chief guest, the most Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dankar, for your esteemed presence today to mark the 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival. Honorable Sir, we thank you for sparing your precious time from your busy schedule to grace the occasion, and also thank you for your kind and inspirational words. I extend a hearty word of thanks to our chief host, Professor Jagdish Muki, Honorable Gover Governor of Nagaland. We thank you for your love, concern, and cons constant support. A huge thanks to our host, Sri Nipurio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, for his enthusiasm and commitment in promoting the tourism industry in Nagaland. We thank you for always inspiring us and leading us from the front. A big thank you to our honored guest, His Excellency Sri Emmanuel Lenin, Ambassador of France to India, Sri Alan Gamel, His Majesty's Trade Commissioner for South Asia and British Deputy Commis High Commissioner for Western India, Honorable Sri Barry of Feral Ao, Australian, Australian High Commissioner to India. Honorable Sirs, your presence here makes it very special for us, and we look forward to interact more with you during this course of this festival. I hope this that this opportunity will pave the path of international culture exchange and hope that 
you will also be the ambassadors of our state, Nagaland. I also would like to thank Honorable Deputy Chief Minister C. Y. Patton, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Advisors, Honorable MLS for your support and being present here in this program. Thank you to our tribal guests, Sri Vekesu Duran and Sri Temjanungba Sempo, Pastor Kohima, our Baptist Church, for pronouncing the traditional blessings and invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, an event like this doesn't happen overnight. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very proactive and dedicated administration and staff. With a deep sense of appreciation, I would also like to thank the people who worked behind the scene to make this event happen. I thank our Chief Secretary and his team, the organizing committee led by the Department of Tourism and Art and Culture, all the allied departments, tribal leaders, NGOs, all the tourism stakeholders for your continued support and cooperation and taking up this task in hosting this event. This event could not have been possible without the collective efforts of all involved. Thank you all. A special mention to TAFMA, Task Force for Music and Arts for putting together a brilliant cultural performance for us today. To all our cultural troops, artists, participants, our guests and visitors who have come from near and far, we thank you for being with us this evening and I request you to not only limit yourself to this venue, but also explore and visit other destinations, indulge in the exciting activities and take, take back with you wonderful memories of your visit to Nagaland. Once again, I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Please do have a wonderful evening ahead. Jai Hind, Kuknalim, and God bless. The chief guest of the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, will now open the festival by sounding the gong. Accompanying him will be our host, Sri Nipurio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, the 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022 is now officially open. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, please rise for the national anthem.
you may please be seated the chief guest chief host host our honored guests will now be escorted to the gallery
This is Nagaland, where age-old mountains rise to caress clouds and coax the life-giving waters of heaven to pour down on our thriving forests, flourishing fields and shimmering rivers. Our land has nurtured generations of brave, hard-working people in their quest to create sustenance, comfort and beauty. This is Nagaland, home to many splendid tribes that folklore says were born from the wombs of earth, tribes that boast a constellation of customs, languages and dress. To our oral culture, we have used folk stories, songs and dances to pass on ancient knowledge, stories of lovers, warriors and tales of survival against the greatest odds. This is Nagaland, a land where laughter and camaraderie flow in the veins of her people committed to live lives of peace and hope. Here a dream still whispers insights, honor resides in words. And food, from preparing to partaking, is a language of love, healing and friendship. This is Nagaland, where Hornbill, Tiger and Human are siblings united by one universal spirit and kin with our jungles and earth, where seasons and the rhythms of Mother Earth guides us to the fields to cultivate, sow and harvest, where nature bids us to prepare for festivities. This is Nagaland, home to rainbows, where the past offers a roadmap to humanity's future. Welcome to Nagaland. Welcome to Hornbill Festival. Festival of Festivals.
But Nagaland is the only land full of festival. Can't place Nagaland.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the release of the special cover to commemorate the Hornbill Festival. We invite our chief guest, the Vice President of India, to release the special cover with Postmaster General Northeast Circle in the presence of our Honorable Chief Minister and the Honorable Governor of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, this special cover is released to commemorate the Hornbill Festival. Please give a round of applause. We now proudly present the logo release of G20. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the logo of G20. We are now proud to present the release of the official video of G20. to launch the Hornbill Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Azadi Mahatsav.
die schnelle Heger, was in Bord am Ei, Emma, Indien. Anna, Mary, Gold, to the length of four years. Jahala, Kukaring, it is a swagger. Up in the Hippari Bari, Kitara Han, was your own. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the formal opening ceremony and cultural celebration. We now present the Hornbill Festival opening ceremony after party.
I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna make you feel right. I'm gonna do it all right. Vinny.
It's where we 
Gentlemen, please welcome Vinika. How many of you love Hindi songs? I said, how many of you love Hindi songs? Okay, I have two Hindi numbers for you guys, and it's a very common song. Please, dance along with me. Que de de tu, ya está. Era movido se lo que era y no te encontré. Y era hoy, de repente, Da sentido toda mi vida con tu querer. Dame esa mucha, una mechana. Yo me tiene muy seca, jaje, señorita. Va a perfil, ya no chaneque. Muchas en que a 
अच्छा लगा है सिनोरिता नोरे भी ये लामिरा तेरा तस्वीर का पेमी और मुझको बाहों में तुम केरो Mapote, interpreta ese dido de la palabra es como un delicado. Quiero el calor de tu mirada. Así sentí como la madera, señorita. Ni gajo, ni gajo, sí. Traje hermano, quita su traje, señorita. Chahati, mohabati. सारी दुनिया में एक ही सुबह है सिनोरिता नो रेवी लामिरा तेरा तस्सर का बेमी और मुझको बाहों में Okay, here we go. One. 
Okay, do you know a song? I'm gonna sing you, I mean, okay. I'm nervous, yeah, you guys are so good that you're making me nervous. Okay, this is Track Me Down by One Direction. If you know, please sing along with me. Ready? Let's hear the music, come on. For you for a heart, I'm not scared of the dark, never ever look so easy. I've got a real for a soul, baby you're a fool, baby you're my only reason. If I didn't have you, I'd never see the sun, see the sun. And of a man who could never be his man, be his man. If I didn't see you, be nothing else, nothing left. Answer, but I know how to groove a little. Are you ready? Okay, come on, let's do the music. Do you know the song? Okay, get around the strings, come on. This hit the ice gold, Michelle fight for that white gold. One for them hood girls, them hood girls, great masterpieces. Styling, wilding, living up in the city. The junk song with Santa. Gotta kiss myself, I'm too pretty. Huh? I'm too hot, hot tables. Call the police and the fireman. I'm too hot, hot tables. Make a train to run every time, man. I'm too hot, hot tables. Say my name, you know who I am.
wait a minute. Fill my cup, put some liquor in it. Take a sip, sign a jet. Pulley up, get it set. Harlem, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. If we show up, we're we'll gonna show up. Smoother than the trackers. Too high, hot tip. Call the police and the fireman.
There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be sing. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Yeah. South of the Equator, navigator, gonna hit the road.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that brings a close to the first day of the Hornbill Festival. I hope you had a good time. Well, the party continues even tomorrow at 9.30. We will have the cultural shows. And at 5 o'clock in the evening, we are going to have the Divine Connection. Dosiers urge from Meghalaya. And the most famous band, About Us. All three bands playing tomorrow at 5 p.m. So tell all your friends, bring the whole town to Kisama, and have a wonderful evening. You have been a great audience. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. Welcome to the Hornbill. The Festival of Festivals. See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>